they're bigger on the inside than they are on the outside. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So I've oh. never actually solved the geometry uh -huh. inside yeah. of a black hole. Yeah. So they how can be does bigger. that come about? So so black holes being bigger on the inside than the outside. Uh, the way I think of it, let's say you draw a circle. Mm. Okay. And we all are used to drawing a straight line to the center of that circle. So that's right. flat. Right. And I know exactly how much area is contained in that flat yeah. geometry. Yeah. But if it's curved, if I pull, right. if it's a little net webbing, and yeah. I pull it like a horn, mm. like a trumpet, yeah. now there's a lot more area, right? right? Until you right. get to the center because of the curvature. Yeah. So curved things can hide. That's a little misleading because I had to bend it into a third dimension, but yes. Into another dimension. So yeah. that reminds me of mm -hmm. um, the way they used to determine the areas of Euclidean yeah. figures right. with uh, triangles inside of it. Right. So you can get the area of a right. circle. Yeah. Everything but, we believe about areas and volumes inscribed so with boundaries. A yeah. Rectangle, uh, a, a triangle inside of a black hole, the three angles don't sum to 180. They do not. Nah. Yeah. And um, so it's non Euclidean geometry. It's not flat yeah. geometry. And that's exactly it that the space time is curved. Now, I can't really do that with the black hole because I'd have to visualize it in curving in a different dimension. So it's very right. hard to do. You don't right. have to do the curving. Yeah. You know, we all see these these pictures of these funnels that are right. meant to indicate yeah. black holes. Yeah. And what that really is is an embedding diagram. It's not that the black hole, like this is an actual direction in space, right. which it bends into. That's not no. it. But it just yeah. helps you visualize. Right. They're called embedding diagrams because they help you visualize the curvature as best that we can in our limitations of our visualizations. Our 3D. Our 3D minds. Yes. Oh, yes. Boy. But, but we do know everything we believe about the volume inside a sphere is based on Euclidean geometry. Right. And it's not Euclidean in there. And so they can be very big on the inside. You know, you can have all kinds of strange things you can add to the interior of black holes just to noodle around. Yeah. We don't think nature does that when it collapses stars. But if I'm just playing games with general relativity, I mean, yeah. I can put all kinds of crazy things on the interior of a black hole. <laughs> wow.